Hey, it's me again. Hey, it's me again. Hi, welcome back. Uh, this, so we're going to be doing something a little different here. This is kind of impromptu because we're a little ahead on schedule. I uh, I begged and begged and begged and plead for a little bit of extra piff. So we're going to show you off some uh, some fun funkiness. Um, this is going to be any percent new game plus all major battles. Um, we kind of mentioned it earlier, but there is an item that we get for 100% completing the Pokedex, well, the base Pokedex. Um, we're going to be using that. Uh, and I want you to imagine just the how optimal a New Game Plus would be, how quick we can do a New Game Plus, like what the path would be. Uh, and I'm going to tell you you're incorrect. Because, uh, who Nelly? There's some funkiness here. We're going to yeah, start... Yeah, this, this is going to be a, a real treat. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I got Cocom Limra. What's up? Oh, that's because I'm in the pause menu. Or I'm in the starting menu. Okay, yeah. Uh, here, let's test this. Can you get the uh, audio? You got audio? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know why, I know why. Do you have the music turned off for that particular no. file? Yeah, there we go. Ta-da! No, you're good. Might be, might be. All right. <clears throat> Hi, it's me again. Welcome. Okay, no. Um, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get started. Shout out to Alimra, winner. And, uh, winner by technicality. And, and we're going to go. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's almost <laughs> like I've had, not had sleep in the last two days, but that's fine. All right, three, two, one, go. So the beginning is going to start very similar. Uh, I don't really care about my starting Pokemon. So we're just going to go through that. Um, okay, so this is the very important thing. So this is exclusive New Game Plus. This is Blue Skip. Ready? Okay, GG, first try. We did it. Oh, thank God. All right. So everything that Gary is doing, by the way, is because of those magic boots that he got that carry over to your New Game Plus file for completing the Pokedex. So it literally gives you God level debug powers. Uh, so Gary's just gonna go say see ya and uh, say hi to a special friend. Yeah, he, you might have remembered him from uh, a little bit ago. The the fluffiest of bugs. Oh, I forgot to do the lucky, but that's fine. We'll do that in a minute. So now that walls are just a suggestion, uh, we can go over here, throw four rocks at Volcarona, and then start throwing balls, and eventually it'll get in there. Uh, like Gary mentioned, this is more or less a, a, a guaranteed catch, so long as you have enough patience and throw enough rocks. Uh, that. There we go. We're gonna do one little little oopsie whoopsie. I'm gonna get the lucky egg real quick. <laughs> Again, in my defense, I usually get the bike with this, so you know, silliness. Haha. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it is the delicious egg, and we must always have delicious egg. Oh, I, I, I. Oh, it, that doesn't load. That's right. Yeah, you gotta, no, you gotta pay the, there. pay the toll. Later in the game, it is a load zone um, mm -hmm. for a particular part of the game, but uh, it's yeah, which is weird that the flag isn't set the same way. Yeah. And now the lucky egg can be gotten. Oh my God! It's the first one of the day, huh? <laughs> yeah. Shout outs to uh, Osht in the chat. He's the one that kind of spearheaded this route idea. Alright, so now that we have our moth, we're going to do a bunch of relearning of some things, and then we're going to go do a bunch of fights. Yeah. So unsurprisingly, uh, Quiver Dance and Fiery Dance are going to make an appearance. We're going to be getting a little bit more in a little bit. Um, mostly because we don't start with that much money. Alright, now... Alright, that's a good gym puzzle. Oh, I'm yep. inside a... Oh, okay, well. Um, so, there's another thing about this. So, 
There's a difference between this and debug percent. Debug percent, you can just walk to Elite Four, it's two minutes. Um, in this, you have to actually clear the checks. Um, I can technically hold control and skip any battle that I have, uh, but that's not fun. Um, so we're actually against doing the all the spirit fights. of the category. So, no, nope. nope, he didn't do it. Okay. Um, he can potentially use split. Oh, okay, that's well. Um, that's fine. It's just base po uh, poison, so it's not going to necessarily hack you too terribly badly. Maybe. Oh, possibly. I just got carried by RNG. Holy moly. Oh, oh yeah, you did. <laughs> right. Oh, I need to, uh... That's fine. That's fine. That's the other... So that's one of the main reasons why we have the backup. We, we get the starter. Just... Sometimes there's shenanigans. Uh, right. And now we're gonna go. Hey, did you guys know? Fun fact. Um, I have the bike. I didn't know if you guys knew that. It's from the pocket dimension. So you're so this seeing is a very, right... yeah. Go ahead. Very interesting interaction right now. Yeah. Um, and it's because the game expects you if you kind of get through that check that you have the bike and it just gives it to you. Yeah. Uh, just assuming that you should have had it and now you just have it. Also, the map doesn't know what's going on sometimes and it will just freak out like that. Um, so there's actually a specific order to the fights we're doing. We don't get fly, so we do have to kind of pace things a certain way. That's not right, okay. I also have to tech I have to make sure that I'm not holding down control. Um, because then the category would be null and void. Because it skips the battle. Uh, essentially what we're looking for is at the end of the game it's gonna tell you what difficulty you're on. If it says debug difficulty, then it is not technically a proper run. Alright, so now standard gym order. We're doing Koga and Misty, uh, like yep. you always did back in red and blue. So this is where the fun really starts, because I'd love to... We're gonna, we're gonna get a uh, lovely gonna little... Be... Uh, uh... You get some DLC here. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're gonna get some DLC, and then we're gonna go find something that we're gonna fuse. Yeah. And with That's these god-level powers of just being able to do anything and everything, what do you think Mun we're gonna go must... get? Mun must become a god in order to fight a god. Yes. Um, so this is not guaranteed. Uh, I'm gonna do some damage. Each fastball is about a 15% catch. Uh, yeah. We're gonna do it like this. Holy moly! That was a thing! Heck yeah! We're gonna get a pretty, a pretty bug now. A very pretty bug. Yeah, very pretty bug. Uh, we're going to take, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, we gotta take a slight, slight little detour and a little whoopsie. So, okay, preface this, uh, we submitted this a long while ago, you know, obviously, during submissions, um, and I did runs of this game for, this category for a while, um, it didn't get accepted, and somehow I ended up accidentally saving over my splits, or saving over my route, um, so we impromptu, like, hey, let's, oh, hey, it's doing that thing again, huh? There we go. Uh, you get we the impromptu super like in the far right. Yeah. Come on, get in there. Thank you. There we go. So because of the uh, how fast the marathon was running, in order to help get things back on pace without just having a, a very long break, uh, this was proposed by Gary J, and uh, everyone was like, "Yeah, should be fine." Should be fine. So this is a, a fun little side quest. It's so, okay, it's that's so good. pretty. That's it's so pretty. Now we're gonna go. All right, now is the time where we do a large amount of relearning things. <laughs> yeah, thankfully it's all pretty basic. Uh, we're actually only gonna relearn one thing because, thanks to where we are, 
not where, where, where we are about to be, uh, we're going to get a nice little TM coming up. So you're going to be going to, after this, grabbing Psychic, and then uh, heading over to Tower Blue, right? Yes. Oh, we gotta go, gotta go to the back door, sorry. Oh my god. So here's, so you need to use, press the control key in order to move. Um, I have to hit it with my, so obviously, you know, God Gamer, I need to be using both hands on the controller. Uh, I'm using my toe to initiate controls, uh, to initiate uh, magic boots, which is the god game strat, I know. So now all the times that we got hacked by... Uh, <laughs> we get to put out some revenge. By, yeah, we get, a, we get a significant amount of revenge. So due to category restrictions... Oh, also, fun fact, if we skipped Charmander, he'd have an evolution. Because uh, that's what he has base. Fun fact. I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. Um, so we need to do all major battles, which means we have to do all the gyms. Uh, we have to do most of this storyline. Yeah, because there's a bunch of triggers that technically don't exist if certain uh, plot flags haven't been set. Exactly. When you do sewers, is going to be absolutely hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. I actually don't have to do sewers, because uh, I just do this in order to skip having to do it. Oh, fair I enough. Think... Oh, no, I think I do have to do it still. Okay, well, this is a little unfortunate. Yeah. Gotta scuff this a little bit. That's fine. Oh, yeah, I need to do sewers for Erica. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because Erica doesn't show up until um, after that's completed. No, it's not this far, it's three. Okay, well, mm -hmm. okay. All right, so once Geo's down, uh, he's not trainer, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> um, Shoutouts to uh, Doom Blue again. Oh, by the way, you can't save after Blue. Uh, um, yeah, that is that is a true statement. Uh, so the game, whenever you have any sort of partner, uh, there is a large crash chance that could occur, and uh, it's significantly unfortunate. Um, there is a way that you can kind of recover after the fact, but it's it's really not good. I think I have to talk to the goons uh, yeah. specifically. The uh, there's yeah. a couple spots where you can bypass that but uh yeah the some of the it's weird because the way that some of the flags are set like it's very lenient and you can just kind of do whatever and then some are like hyper rigid and you must do it in a very specific way okay so here's the fun thing we kind of have to just rely on the rival now uh the game card's poisoned time. so yeah. it's not it's not that bad because geo will never uh, do a full heal on the Gencon. Um, he only has uh, hypers, and uh, I think that's it. So that's this is just the permanent state, and this does still count as a valid win. We actually sometimes have to rely on that strat in um, in any percent and beat gold. It's scuffed when it happens, but you 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 take what you can get sometimes. All right. After we do this, we're going to go. We gotta go, yeah, we gotta go down for search. Right, 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 right. Uh, splits say Erica, and, well, splits say Sewers right. Geo and Erica. Right, 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 okay. Um, so there's not technically a very specific, hey. No, okay. There's not a super duper specific way we want to do it, but we kind of want to do search last. Yeah, oh, the, the last... The last three Johto trainers uh, are, well, not trainers, but gym leaders are uh, Surge, Brock, and Blaine. Yeah. And then you do more blue-related things. The fun thing about holding control is sometimes if I let go of control, it holds the input I was currently using, which is what happens when I just walk to the right. 
It's very cute. And like that. Alright. Oh my god, come on. Alright, so you're hitting Tower Rival now. Tower Rival, and then I'm gonna go do Air and all that jazz. Yep. Because this does count as a major battle because it blocks progression to uh, Mr. Fuji. Mr. Fuji is a logically required uh, event for you to be able to continue to progress in the game because of the Snorlaxes. And also unlocks uh, Erica. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. So I, I continue to forget all of the flags because there's just so many all over no, the yeah. place. If only I had notes telling me where to go. So, Sewers Geo and Erica. We get to see uh, Erica do the electric slide. Yeah. It's great. Good job, Erica. We're doing it. Oh, also a good thing to note, uh, when you're in Magic Boots, when you're walking around, uh, you it's like having a rappel up. You're not going to get any encounters otherwise yeah. unless you turn them off. Yes. Woo! There's the electric slide. I'm a little behind, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Geo is one. We're getting max revived. Just be safe. Always get the max revives. Yeah, always get the max revives. Do they doesn't matter it if it's a meme. Yeah, it doesn't we matter if it's a meme yeah. category or not. <laughs> So a lot of these uh, logical progressions are starting to come to a close. Like, we get most of everything out of the way up until you gain access to Zapple Kuno, which technically we have, um, yes, we but it's we still want to clear all those flags beforehand to make sure that we're not causing any major logical dumps. Um, so now we're going to go fight Erica, and then after Erica, it's For Sabrina sure. time. It's Sabrina. Yep. Sabrina then Surge. Right, right, right. Which, it is, it is absolutely so satisfying just being like, uh, screw your cans, I'm just going to go punch your Pokemon yeah. in the face. <laughs> oh, 100%. I should note, record, well, the fastest time I've ever done for this category is just under 20 minutes. Um, so if you're ever curious uh, how fast you can do this. Uh, 1807, uh, yeah. and that run is on Gary J's YouTube. We do plus two. Oh no, we only do the plus one, that's right. Because of this guy. <laughs> Alright. Oh, well that's fine. He... Okay. Well... And it's just all of <laughs> this combination is such an angry mon, and it's so great. It's also great. just very nice that we have the level 60. <laughs> I need to try this as a uh, custom starter. It probably would work pretty well. Yeah, um, Maverick oh is uh, currently using a uh, Mewtwo Kyogre. And do using it to great effect. Every time. Um, so, I should also note, Fire, Bug, Psychic is near perfect coverage? There's a couple of things that it doesn't hit, but it's it's a very strong collection of, of abilities. Alright, so it's uh, Brock time. Yep, our, our sixth gym leader is going to be our first gym leader. I was about to say, this is almost uh, reverse gym order, but it really yeah. isn't. <laughs> it's nowhere near reverse. Could you imagine doing Jasmine first? Mm, no. Yeah, that'd be particularly hideous. Who wants... Alright, flip a coin. Who's getting... Am I getting, uh, am I getting uh, sturdied or not? Uh, you're getting sturdied. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> I guess, I guess we can't have the bad luck all the time. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're gonna go that... down, skip, um, skip Verdant Force, and we're gonna get the heal, so that way we can fast travel back here later. Yep. Because we gotta do uh, Geo Gym after uh, Triburb's done. Yeah.
I need to get Geo. Okay, well. <laughs> So now you kind of see how the levels are catching up. Um, things are getting a little, you know, it's not like press one button and leave, like it was. By the time that uh, Johto comes around, uh, there's going to be a significant amount of levels that we will have as. Oh, we're not we're not doing Johto. Set. This is just oh, we're not doing so far. Oh. Yeah. Why would I think? Why was I thinking Johto? Because I showed you how quick we can get to Johto. Oh, that's right. Johto so everyone. when we were when we were having a having a, a note comparison earlier today uh, when Gary kept blowing my mind with all the cool stuff that he was able to do. Um, <laughs> the amount of time that it takes to get to Johto is actually very small because these maps are uh, very interconnected in strange ways. Like one of the caves that leads you into the ruins of Alf actually is on the Kanto side of things and you can just walk straight through it. Yeah. Um, there's leftover maps from previous builds. Also, fun fact, you can go talk to Geo right now. Uh, you can start the bird fight that way, skipping this cutscene, but it doesn't progress the story. It's great. Yep, you need to still hit the, the logical trigger for it. Yeah. Also, it's like, it's one of those weird things where it's, like, Geo also doesn't show up in his gym until you get the Sea Gallop Pass. Like, that's yeah. the trigger for it. So if you were to debug after this fight, uh, you wouldn't be able to progress. It is so wild seeing this fight with um, <laughs> a Pokemon that can actually deal damage to it, right? Without having to use Rock Slide or Destiny Bond or Parish Song or being a Shedinja. Yeah, for real. That was actually when we were talking earlier about the the modern build when uh, we were using uh, Snorlax Shedinja. Like that was our answer to Zapalcuno in that. We should probably mention route. what's the difference between uh, classic and any in modern. Oh, so Modern rebalances the entirety of the catches to include Pokemon that are from all of the available generations rather than just be um, Gen 1, Gen 2 centric uh, during the classic route. So in the first uh, the first brush that you come across most of your Mons, you can get in Route 1, it's instead of your Rattata, your Pidgey, your Tangela, it's Shinx and Bidoof and Fletchling. Um, and that's all across the entirety of the area. It also is significantly more difficult. Uh, fun fact, when they were redoing Modern Mode, uh, they actually reached out to myself and Dullahan, uh, and I think you got a couple of pokes too, didn't you, Gary? Yeah, um, I did. Yeah, because they were just like, we're tired of you messing with our stuff with just the stupid Snorinja that we can't kill. And they shared a <laughs> screen cap of a folder that just says Dark Moves for Champion. <laughs> um, so we, we worked collaboratively with them on uh, making sure that Modern Mode was a little bit more balanced and a little bit more fair. And they took a lot of um, a lot of what we said to heart. They also did not hold back on a lot of the um, a lot of the difficulty. Oh, so... Hey, I got Oak's Parcel. I always forget that I can't use the, uh, this shop. Yeah, it's this, the, this the one you'd come across first, so... Yep, it, it doesn't exist until you get uh, the parcel back yeah. to Oak. But yeah, uh, I will absolutely 100% advocate checking out Modern Mode after you get a little bit more comfortable with the mechanics of the game, because it's a doozy of a challenge, but it is so fun. I have never seen on. the Pokemon on this on this trainer yeah, before. Yeah, me neither. I just forgot I was supposed to uh, go the long way around. I was supposed to go around, but uh, I I done goofed. I mean, extra experience. You kind of oh my god, kind of get yeah. to the point where you need it. Yeah, of course. I love how some load zones work. Some load zones don't. It is grab of a it is a grab bag. It's very cute. Okay, hey, this is the way we're supposed to go. I find it interesting that um, you were mentioning earlier how the magic boots will occasionally uh, heck you up and just keep moving you forward without you wanting to move forward. Um, that's um, that's not necessarily the magic boots. That's more so the um, that's not right. Uh, that's the um, control key specifically. Got it. I wonder if that's also tied to the uh, the speed up rate. Uh, potentially. 
That'd be interesting if that's like uh, everything is stable except that. <laughs> yeah. All right, good geo. Oh, I'm going over estimate. Oh no. Oh, I did the thing. That's fine. This is not a valid category anymore, but whatever. So I held down the still, debug button. It's still a fun showcase, and also we didn't want to beat up that kid. Well, at this point. Whee! Okay. <laughs> oh my god, please get into the... Again, sometimes the load zones work, sometimes they don't. Well, that, these load zones on the way to Victory Road are also particularly finicky. Like, when you uh, try to go in for the first time from the route just past Viridian, uh, there's a weird collision where it doesn't actually accept you moving into that box on the first try. You have to go into that zone and then hit left or right to actually trigger the transition, and it's the weirdest thing. Hi, Yente! And I wish we fought that trainer more frequently because they have some absolutely gorgeous mons. Oh, I didn't so do the right thing, huh? It's boss cool. rush time, though. So, is there any particular Elite Four member that you're per uh, considerably concerned with? Um, Considering the fact I'm supposed to do something before going into Elite Four? figure it out. <laughs> well, so far, things look pretty okay. I uh, control my controller as desynced. Oh no! It's fine, it's fine. Uh, I hit the wrong button. Ironically, uh, Bruno can be very challenging. Just because so of I don't, all I don't his, have uh, rock slides and, and I, uh... I don't have time to set up like I would ah. want to. Fair. I would imagine uh, him and Agatha can be slightly crunchy. Also, uh, he has a bunch of sturdy pokes. Yeah, that's stupid uh, Magnanix. Yeah. Which I'm surprised he didn't use. Uh, oh, he probably used all of his full restores. Yeah. So, one thing that I'm most concerned about with the. Uh, Agatha fight is um, Wobgar, really. Yeah. Wobgar can be particularly gross. Yeah, that's whatever. Um... That's fine. Okay. The big reason why Wobgar is uh, an issue is it has Shadow Tag, it has uh, it has Shadow Tag as its ability, so you can't swap out for anything. Um, it also has your standard suite of Wobbuffet moves, uh, Counter, Mirror, uh, Mirror Coat, Safeguard, and Destiny Bond. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Oh, that's cute. Bye, Blue. Uh, yeah, we wiped. Uh, I saved right before. That's why. Whatever. Yeah. Funnily enough, this <laughs> that in, that doesn't count, right? Like the uh, no. the transition blue. Yeah. No, that doesn't count. No. Uh, mm. I got to do it like this, huh? That's fine. Mizma, that's going to be the one that you can't really set up on, right? Yeah. You got lucky on that mean look there. Yeah. Um...
And now Lobgar. All right, so now we got Lance. Uh, Lance is actually pretty tame from what I remember. I mean, for the most part, Lance enough. isn't... Yeah, because he doesn't have anything that's terribly... Uh, like, the Tyrandactyl is probably your biggest worry because of the... Um, it will have things like Rock Slide or Stone Edge. Um, hey, shout out to me for getting you... to uh, heal PP. I thought the game crashed for a sec. That was fun. That happens sometimes. Yeah, no, especially since uh, we get the the version checker. I think that's when it checks it, is at the very yeah. beginning of boot up. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now we just need Lance to not be a, a jerk. And uh, we want to see... No, no continuous outrage. This not is... this! Thank you. The coin flips that Dragados goes through sometimes is just absolutely bonkers, because he just does whatever he wants. Oh, the brave bird hurts so bad. Yeah, but that's fine. We, we're we bulky enough to thank it. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely the power of the Mewtwo, like, really holding things together. Oh, well, yeah. Because La Volcarona's not physically bulky at all. Yeah. Last fight! Right. Hopefully his AI is... Yep, his AI is a little scuffed. Uh, we do that, and then go burr. All of the burr. Well, I guess shoutouts while we're winding down. Uh, thank you so much for having me on as uh, additional commentary, yeah. Gary. And uh, Shoutouts to again. Um, the, uh, the team for letting us do Piff. Nice number, yeah. by the way. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's not fully evolved because we skip a blue fight. That's um, right. It's ca yeah. it, That's how it counts, yeah. Um, Thank you for, you know, bearing with me because, uh, holy moly, oopsie whoopsie. Shout out to that Charmander. Yeah, because it <laughs> says debug mode, but oh well. I mean, it was still um, a very fun showcase. It was, I'm glad that we were able to show off Piff. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Agreed. Thank you, everyone. Yep, and if uh, check out, anyone check is... out the Piff server, check out yeah. the uh, Pokemon ROM hack. We had multiple Pokemon ROM hacks this marathon. Check out the uh, ROM hack server. It's full of a lot of different games. Um, Piff, no exception. So, uh, yep, yeah. And uh, if you need to find a way of getting there, if you go to this SRC page uh, for Pokemon Infinite Fusion, there's a link to the Discord for Pokemon fan game server uh, for the Discord. And uh, thank you again, everyone. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your evening. And enjoy the rest of the marathon. We got some good stuff coming up. Next is uh, red-green, so that'll be fun. <laughs>